Happening right now, a vigil for 39-year-old Ikaika Stone. He's the man who was shot dead in Kaka'ako almost two weeks ago. CAD TV 4 Shanila Kabir joins us live with the vigil from Kaka'ako, which is the same spot where the deadly shooting occurred. Shanila? Mika, Jai, family and friends are here celebrating the life of Ikaika Stone. Many of them say now is the time to fight gun violence here in Hawaii. So I'm going to get out of the way and just show you this turnout. So Kaika Stone's girlfriend, Jaslyn Aponte, told me, quote, the universe was invited. And she wants as many people to come out today to celebrate Ikaika's life. And she, she and her family say ego killed him, that a single argument escalated enough for a man to shoot another. Aponte says that's what they want to highlight. She said arguments are turning deadly left and right and hopes Ikaika's story will push people to understand no disagreement is worth killing over. And also, there's a new mural here in Kaka'ako. Let me just pan over here. It says Kanaka, Kanaka Kikes. That is Ikaika Stone's nickname. And family members say they are so happy to have this as his legacy definition of a, of a, of a man. Um, his name is Ikaika, the warrior, which he was, the protector, um, selfless, biggest heart, huge heart. No matter where, who you were, no matter where you were, he was always the person to be there for you. Um, he definitely didn't deserve this, and he was taken from our whole family. Happy to say that he's someone that was my dad to teach me things and not to teach me things. Uh, I'm sad that he has to go out this way about gun violence and how people uh, let their egos and selfish get a hold of them and just take people's lives out here. Ikaika Stone left behind four children and a grandchild. Brothers Fanaika and Paea Mateaki have both been charged with Ikaika's murder, and they're both scheduled to go to trial in January. Reporting live in Kaka'ako, I'm Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News.